Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. In today's video, we're going to break down how Liverpool's fullbacks and Firmino played a key role in Liverpool bypassing Arsenal's press. When we break down the game and we do look at the board, we have Liverpool in a 4-3-3 and we have Arsenal starting in the 3-4-3 that has been successful for them this season. When we break it all down, what you end up seeing is that the main theme in this game was Arsenal's pressing because it was so successful against Liverpool in their last meeting. So now the onus was on Liverpool Liverpool to break down Arsenal and claim all three points. And when we look at it, we'll start with Arsenal's pressing, and there was no real surprises here. You had Willian and Aubameyang stepping out to the center backs, but blocking off the passing lanes into Alexander Arnold and Robertson. Lacazette was dropping on Fabinho and blocking off the passing lanes into him. And if you ever had Lacazette stepping out into the path of the center backs to apply pressure, then that's when you would see Xhaka stepping forward to close him down. Out in the midfield zone, it was Xhaka against Naby Keita and El Nenny dealing with Wijnaldum. And then Maitland-Niles often was tucking into a central position to close down Keita if we saw Xhaka stepping forward. That meant that the Liverpool wide players in Salah and Mane were closed down by Tierney and Bellerin. And then you had Firmino just ahead of the centre-backs. With that being said, there were variations to Arsenal's pressing on the fly. And there were times where we did see Lacazette and Aubameyang press the centre-backs with Xhaka stepping forward to close down Fabinho. But in the earlier stages of that game, Arsenal's pressing was successful and Liverpool struggled to create chances. There was a time where you ended up seeing Lacazette stepping to Gomez, Aubameyang shooting out to Alexander-Arnold and Xhaka pushing high on Keita. And that's when you ended up seeing Alexander-Arnold playing a loose pass into Lacazette due to Arsenal's pressure and Lacazette was able to push forward. Over on Arsenal's right-hand side, you would see Lacazette stepping into the path of Van Dijk and blocking off the passing lane into Fabinho. And that would allow Willian to stay on Robertson as you ended up seeing Bellerin deal with Mane. Ultimately, there were two issues that Arsenal encountered with their pressing. One was the manner in Firmino dropping off deeper and no Arsenal centre-back stepping towards him. And with Elneny and Xhaka pushing forward to close down markers, Firmino was often able to drift into spaces between the lines and look for passing avenues to receive the ball. And the other factor was if Liverpool could get the ball out to Alexander-Arnold and Robertson beyond Aubameyang and Willian, then they were able to locate Firmino in those dangerous positions. When we look to a few examples, we're able to see the impact of the Liverpool fullbacks and Firmino's positioning. First, we see Robertson slide the ball around Willian for Mane dropping off and Bellerin doesn't get tight and Mane squares the ball to Firmino between the lines in between Alneni and Xhaka who lets the ball roll across his body and he pokes it to Naby Keita before Xhaka steps in and Naby Keita, goal side of Maitland-Niles, is able to slide the ball to Bellerin breaking forward into the box. If we shift back to the left-hand side, we have Van Dijk pressed by Willian who's blocking off the passing lane into Wijnaldum and Van Dijk plays the ball around Willian for Mane dropping off freely into Arsenal's half. When Mane receives the ball he locates Firmino's movement between the lines and he splits Elneny and Bellerin to find Firmino who's able to run at Arsenal's back three and once again slide the ball out to Robertson breaking into Arsenal's box. If we look to the build up to Liverpool's equalizer you have Maitland-Niles stepping out to Alexander-Arnold who fizzes the ball around Xhaka for Keita ahead of David Luiz. That's when you end up seeing Firmino Firmino running off Elneny to receive the pass from Keita as he is closed down by Luigi and Xhaka. And Keita does well to hold off those challenges and Firmino ends up picking up the loose ball and slides it across Tierney for Salah who's then able to get across Tierney and that ultimately results in Mane's tap-in. We could shift to Van Dijk switching out the ball to Alexander-Arnold which drags out Maitland-Niles once again. And with Xhaka and Keita and Elneny shifting over centrally from Wijnaldum, you see Alexander-Arnold sliding the ball across Maitland-Niles and Xhaka for Firmino shifting laterally between the lines. But his switch of play out to Mane in that left channel was over hit. And to no surprise, Firmino and Alexander-Arnold were both involved in Liverpool's winning goal. You have Van Dijk clipping a diagonal ball out to Firmino who shifted out into that right channel. And he does well to bring down the ball, drive at Tierney, and hold up the play. With David Luiz dropping off deeper, you end up seeing Firmino dropping off the ball into the path of Salah, and that attracts Xhaka and Maitland-Niles. Salah does well to hold off those two Arsenal players, and he drops the ball off to Alexander-Arnold, who isn't closed down by Maitland-Niles, and Alexander-Arnold locates Robertson running off Willian, and that leads to Liverpool's second goal. If we look to an example where Arsenal looked to squeeze Liverpool on that left touchline, 
line, you have Robertson sliding the ball out to Mane, dropping deep ahead of Bellerin. When Mane receives that ball, you have Firmino signaling to play the pass into that left channel as he looks to run off El Nenny and drift into the path of Holding, who is looking to step forward. Mane is able to clip that ball into the path of Firmino, and he does well to hold up David Luiz and help Liverpool push forward. Minutes later, you have Fabinho sliding the ball across Aubameyang for Alexander-Arnold, which pulls out Maitland-Niles. And he clips the ball over Maitland-Niles for Firmino running across holding. And you also see Salah running across David Luiz. That's when you end up seeing Firmino chest the ball across holding to take him out of the game for Salah running beyond David Luiz. But Leno reads it well and he's able to get off his line to sweep up danger. In the second half, we did see Alexander-Arnold at times looking to revert to other passing options than Firmino as he looked to drift into space in beyond the Arsenal fullbacks. There was one example in particular where you have Gomez sliding the ball across Aubameyang for Alexander-Arnold, who has a gap for Firmino dropping off David Luiz. If he plays the ball around Aubameyang, Firmino would receive the ball between the lines, but what he ends up locating is is Mane running across holding so when Firmino does drop off deeper it pulls out Luis a bit off his line and that allows Alexander Arnold to find Mane's run across holding in right half space but holding does well to poke it away. If we look to an example of Firmino's creativity you end up seeing Robertson splitting Ceballos and Bellerin for Firmino dropping off David Luiz and that ends up seeing holding step into his path and that leaves Diago Jota free and Firmino locates his run and places his teammate into a good goal scoring position position. And if, and if we look to one final example, it's Maitland-Niles stepping to Alexander-Arnold late once again. And Alexander-Arnold scoops the ball over Wijnaldum and Ceballos for Firmino dragging out David Luiz. Firmino is able to hold off David Luiz. And when El Nenny comes over to apply supporting pressure, Firmino ends up splitting El Nenny and Luiz for Salah, who leads another Liverpool counterattack. Hi everybody, thanks for watching and subscribe here for your latest tactical analysis and daily commentary on the interview show. And if that wasn't enough, don't forget you could find more organic, unfiltered soccer slash football analysis on the interviews podcast, the best soccer slash football podcast in the world, available on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and any Android apps on your Android devices.